What's up everybody? This is John Raymond coming to you from my home studio space that we call the workshop. And today I want to dig into something that I think a lot of musicians have a hard time understanding that be worth digging into and that is sus chords. So a sus chord in its most basic form is really just a chord that isn't fully resolved, right? So a lot of times this is seen as a dominant chord. You say F7 sus, right? So you've got, instead of one, three, five, seven, you've got one, four, five, seven, right? That four is a suspension, not resolving on the third. And these kind of chords are really open sounding chords. They have the third present in the sound, but usually in the voicing of the chord and how it's played, that third isn't given away, kind of like this. Usually you'll see sus chords written one of three different ways. You might see F7 sus, you might see as a slash chord E flat over F, or you might see it as a different kind of slash chord, something like C minor seven over F. They all communicate the same thing, which is it's a sus chord. So now the question is, what do you play on a sus chord? Well, I wanna give you six things that you can go to that will help you develop more language on these kinds of chords. So first, let's talk about what scales to use over an F7 sus chord, right? Generally speaking, you're gonna use a mixolydian scale or a bebop scale, which would sound like this. You can also use a Dorian scale if you start on the fifth of that chord. So for us, if we start on concert C minor and play C Dorian over F7 sus, it's gonna sound really nice, like this. In addition, you can also imply a 2-5 progression over the sus chord to give it a little more harmonic motion. So for us, we'd be thinking C minor 7 to F7 all over top of the F7 sus chord. Something like this. If we want to even strip it back a little bit more though, why not just play something with a sus voicing? As simple as one, four, five, right? We can use that shape and get a really nice open, sort of arpeggiated sound on the sus chord, something like this. If you wanna go for a little more of an intervallic sound, but still have it feel really linear while you're playing, triad pairs would be a great thing to go to. So for this, think back to our initial voicing, right? That E flat triad in the right hand over the F in the bass. If you take those two triads, E flat major, F major triad, and form a scale and a sound out of each of those triads, you might get it to sound something like this. Another intervallic shape that you can use are just pentatonic scales. And I like to think of these more as minor pentatonic scales. So think of your C minor pentatonic scale over F7 sus. And that's gonna give you a nice fluid open intervallic sound as well. Something like this. Last but not least, with these open, unresolved sus chords, our ear naturally probably wants to go to some things where we're taking the harmony outside and then coming back inside. So a really easy way you can work on this is take that sus shape that we had, one, four, five, F, B flat, C, and take that shape, start there as sort of your home base, and then modulate it or sidestep with it to some different keys to create 
some inside outside harmonic motion like this. So I hope this video helps you understand a little more of what a sus chord is, how it sounds, and some different things that you can do on it. I'd really recommend taking each of these ideas for vocabulary on sus chords and isolating them so that you really get comfortable with that sound under your fingers in the different keys that you're working on them in. So leave a comment about the video if you like it, and we'll see you next time.